deadweight loss of taxation. So we'll start with the demand curve and we have the supply curve with us, right? This is the equilibrium quantity. This is the equilibrium price. P1 and this is Q1, right? Okay, so this is, and right now there is no tax which has been imposed. So we can write this as, this particular particular point as market equilibrium without tax. Market equilibrium without tax. Okay. Now if the tax has been imposed. So what is the first thing which will happen? The supply curve is going to shift upwards. It has shifted upwards like this. Right? Okay. Fair enough. Now what is going to happen is that uh, uh, sellers, first of all, buyers have to give the high price. Right? Buyers will have to give this particular price, P2. P2. Uh, so, and the quantity is this one, Q2. Sellers are effectively going to res going to receive lesser price. Ultimately, they'll be receiving only P3. Why? Because earlier sellers were receiving P1, but now they're going to receive P3. Why? Because this much amount of tax, though, they have to give now. They will be giving this much. Buyers have to pay high price because of the tax. They were earlier paying only P1. Now they have to pay higher price P2. Sellers were earlier receiving P1, but ultimately now they will be receiving only P3 in their pockets, right? That's, you might say, oh no, buyers are giving P2, by P2 they are giving, but uh, sellers are not going to keep the entire P2 with them. Na? Out of that, this much amount of tax will be given to the government. This is the tax which has been imposed, right? Uh, this is the tax which, uh, which has been imposed. Uh, so buyers price is P2, sellers price is P3, one thing, okay? And uh, because of the tax, this much amount of quantity is neither demanded nor consumed. So you are not demanding this much quantity nor you are consuming it because your uh, the, the ultimate quantity in the market because, because the tax is Q2. So the quantity neither produced neither reduced nor consumed because of the tax, right? So then you have what? You have a... Uh, uh, can you just imagine what is the amount of the consumer surplus earlier, right? Uh, earlier, that is before tax. This is the amount of consumer surplus, this area, beta. This area was the amount of consumer surplus earlier. Hmm? After tax, what is the amount of consumer surplus? Only this area, right? this area. So due to tax, what is the loss in consumer surplus? Due to tax, what is the loss in consumer surplus? This particular area. This entire area is the loss in consumer surplus. Right? This entire area is the loss in consumer surplus due to tax. Before tax, what was the producer surplus? This particular area. This was the producer surplus. After tax, what is the producer surplus? This particular area. This particular area. 
So what is the loss in consumer surplus? Sorry, loss in producer surplus because of the tax? This area. Hmm? This area. This is the loss in consumer surplus. Okay. Out of this, so this entire area becomes the loss in consumer surplus and producer surplus. This area is not going to consumers now. This area is not going to producers now. Okay. But there is third party who is getting some part of this area. What is that third party? Government. This much Q2 amount of quantity is produced and this is the tax. So what is the amount of the tax? This triangle, this rectangle. This rectangle, the area of this rectangle, tax into quantity. So this area, this area is what is going to the government as the tax revenue. Right? Now can you think that out of the lost consumer surplus and lost producer surplus, some part has gone to the third party, which is government. But there is some part particularly this area, this triangle, this triangle. So what is that triangle? This triangle. It is not going to anyone. This is not going to anyone, neither to consumers, nor to producers, nor to government. Right? So this becomes the area of this triangle. This triangle is nothing but the dead weight loss. This area is neither to consumers, going to consumers, nor to producers, nor to government, nor to government. So this is what is known as the dead weight loss. So you understand this? Out of the lost consumer surplus and producer surplus, some part of that lost consumer surplus and producer surplus has gone to the government in terms of the tax revenue. So the area of this rectangle is nothing but the tax revenue and this triangle this area is neither going to consumers nor to producers nor to government so that's a waste uh, so this quantity is neither produced nor consumed because of the tax so this is what is called the deadweight loss of taxation and remember one thing that if you have uh, uh, the supply curve or the demand curves, in case if they are less elastic, then the equilibrium quantity with the tax is going to be very near to the equilibrium quantity without tax. In that case, dead weight loss is going to be lesser. Right? Okay. So this is what I wanted to do in this recording. Thank you, Vita.